we're going to take a look at some common mistakes when it comes to if statements. Uh, here's the first one. If you have more than one thing that you want to do when a certain situation is true, you need to in fact put those, uh, those multiple things, in this case statement one and statement two, you need to put them inside braces. What would happen if I forgot the braces and I had this situation? Well, here's what happens. If x is 3 and the test is true, I'm going to do statement 1 because the test is true. And then I'm just going to fall through and do statement 2 anyway, as though it's the very next statement, totally unrelated to the, the test. What would happen if uh, x is 15 and this test fails? Well, then I'm going to skip statement 1. I won't do it, but I'll go ahead and do statement 2. Why is that? Because the computer thinks that if you forget the braces that only one statement is tied to the test. So don't forget the braces. Okay, the next uh, common error is to put a semicolon after the test. If you put a semicolon after the if test, you've basically disassociated the test from what you want done if the test is true. What does that mean? It means that statement one will be done regardless regardless, no matter if the test is true or false, statement one will be done. And the third kind of error is, uh, let's suppose we want to test to see if x is equal to 10, and we forget to use the double equal sign. We forget to use the double equal sign, and instead we use a single equal sign. Basically, all we're doing here is assigning x uh, 10, and if you assign any mathematical variable, um, if you assign anything other than zero, the computer thinks the statement is true. So in this case, no matter what x was, this test will be considered true and we're going to go ahead and do statement one. The only way this test would be true is if you said if x is equal to zero. Uh, in that case, the result of that expression is in fact zero and the computer treats zero as false and it will not do, it will not do statement one in that case. But if you uh, have any other value assigned x and you use a single equal sign, uh, it's going to consider it true and do statement one. So those are the three most common errors uh, when it comes to if statements.